What started out as one cherry tomato plant has magically become four. Find out how I made that happen. Whew. It is hot out there. So one of the things I'm always very careful to do is to wear my hat when I'm out in the garden. And you like what it does for my bangs? It's lovely, nice sweaty, sticky bangs. Sorry, I need a shower after every time I go out in the garden. But anyway, I wanted to show you uh, what I've been doing with the tomatoes. So I have um, rooted some of the suckers from the cherry tomatoes, and I just cut a bunch of suckers from some heirloom tomatoes, and I'm gonna show you how I root them now. All right, this is my bowl of tomato suckers that I clipped. They're all wilty because it was really hot outside. But a sucker is basically a brand new tomato plant that grows out of your existing tomato plants. One of the reasons why if you don't cut the suckers, the plants get so huge and collapse. Um, but the interesting thing about tomatoes is they can put out roots all along their stems. So all you do, well, and I'll show you this. I don't know if you can see that. See that little baby plant right there? That is a sucker. Um, it's just a tiny one. It hasn't grown yet. But anyway, we're gonna cut the bottom stems off. Actually, this one's got some flowers on it. I don't want it putting energy into the flowers, so I cut that off too. And we stick it in our glass of water, like that. Um, I'm gonna need that. This was a big one. Again, we're just gonna cut off. So here's a, here's a sucker for you. So basically, you got the tomato plant, you have the leaf, I don't know how well you can see that. You have the, the leaf and then the, the sucker comes out of the center. So this is a sucker right here. So that was what I've been cutting off. But because we're just going to root these, we're gonna cut all of this stuff off. This here is a good example. This is a big sucker. So um, you've got your tomato, you've got your leaf. This is the sucker growing out in the center of it. So if I had left this plant in, I would have just cut off the sucker like that, but since we're rooting it, we're gonna cut off. Look, this plant is just full of suckers. There's another one there. The problem is each sucker grows an entirely new tomato plant, and which is why you wanna get rid of them. Again, I'm gonna cut off the flowers because we don't want it putting its energy into flowers. And we're gonna cut that. And I'm probably gonna just cut a little bit more off as well. Get that in there. I need a taller glass. Trim, trim. It is very difficult for a lot of people to get rid of the suckers on their plants because they're so healthy and there's that many more tomatoes. But what you have to remember is that um, you'll actually get better tomatoes if you prune it properly because um, the, the plants need airflow so that they don't get all mildew and the tomatoes don't rot. And, and if you've ever harvested tomatoes where you can't get in there to get them, that's because there's no pruning being done. So here's another example. That's a sucker right there, that one there. And that one there. So, healthy plants put out lots of suckers. Flowers. And I got one more. So these are all heirloom varieties. Oh, they're all wilty because, like I said, they uh, just came in from the really hot heat. These are the cherry tomatoes that I was rooting, and you can see how many roots they have. So when you go to plant these, um, you want to be careful to keep them well watered. Those, these are ready to go in the ground. These were actually ready to go in a couple days ago. I just haven't done it. But you have to keep them well watered as they get used to the dirt um, because even though they've got a ton of roots on them, um, it's still a whole lot easier to get water out of a uh, glass of water than it is out of the dirt. So that is how you create new tomato plants out of your existing tomato plants. Um, it takes a little bit of patience and it can slow down, but if you want to save money on purchasing tomato plants, because quite honestly, 
you're not that far behind. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe a couple of weeks um, by the time these root and, and take off in the garden. So it's a great way to increase your tomato production at a fairly low cost. So I hope that helps. Work hard. Get dirty. Use good soap. Go milk stuff. <laughs> And I forgot to show you what was at the bottom of my tomato plants. I harvested some blackberries. So that's going to be part of my, uh, are you going to steal one? Yeah, You're just going to steal one. I'm actually going to steal several. Oh. Love you. Wow. I love you too. But that's why I grow them for everybody to enjoy.